What's up, slackers? Oh, aye. what a day, what a day. This is a welcome to the first AMD watch stream. So I hope you guys are uh, excited as I am to, uh, I don't know, see what AMD's got. N NVIDIA needs some competition. Got to see what else is going on. Let's see. Let's just make sure YouTube is on their game because it looks like there's a little bit of a delay. So let me know how audio is. Um... It's a little new of a setup, so let's make sure, like, it's all working before we do anything. So, I'm going to do, a, like, a little test. So, uh, I don't know. Just let me know how everything's going. So, what are you guys up to? You guys working, slacking, slacking and working? Oh, yeah. I saved my Red Bull for you guys. What's going on? Yeah? Mmm. Oh, look at this. Look at what I got next to me. Yay, 3090. So I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up uh, auctioning off one of these. We'll help the channel for support. That way I can allocate more time. I Trust me, I'd rather be doing this full time for you guys than doing my normal job. So, all right. So how's sound? Sounds good? Do I look good? Yeah, you, you like my new... Uh, I got some new uh, lenses and stuff. So we're going to be playing around, doing some more videos and stuff because I just absolutely love it working and slacking i love it love it love it all right so who's excited for the amd stuff huh are, are we finally going to get something that's comparative to nvidia because it's kind of been depressing over the years a lot of the times amd gets my hopes up and we usually don't get that much the 5700 xt was interesting the drivers really kind of killed it for me i was going to do a lot of stuff for it but I don't know, just messing with some of the ways you had to change stuff and how everything was going, it was kind of eh, 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 so. But I, obviously drivers mature over time and stuff like that, so. Most thanks by Matt, five bucks. Hello from Saudi, just moved here for work, slacking. Don't slack too much, or maybe try not to slack enough, or uh, I don't know, whatever it is. But anyways, oh, my day job. So I work what's called uh, identity and access management. I'm a software developer slash coder slash web services guy ldap guy do a lot of active directory stuff azure exchange uh sql pretty much i do a lot of different stuff oh let's see so let, let's let's test out a couple of views uh real quick because this is a kind of a new setup so i, I don't want to make sure it goes to crap and then you guys get all disappointed and have to switch over to the other screen so let's see so we have a, a couple views. This is obviously the normal view where you got my slacker prettiness going down. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got the, uh, look at that. Already people are just, man, they got a lot of people on the AMD stream. So this is how we're going to basically watch the AMD stream. Uh, I'm going to put it up full screen so you won't see all the chat and stuff like that. But you're going to have full audio through here. So you don't have to have it opened in two areas. Uh, we we would rather you watch mine than watch watch theirs, obviously, because I'm the coolest. So uh, I use SailPoint, CyberArk, and AD LDAP. Jason, we do similar jobs. <laughs> oh, isn't that facial recognition? There's a lot of aspects to identity management. It's kind of crazy. Oh, what's the update on Rip All? Rip All will continue this weekend. Um, obviously, I had to take this card apart and find out all the values for the one that I messed up. So I had to solder pieces off here and then put them back on, which is always fun. You, you love taking a card that's working and working really well and just destroying it and then, or, well, not destroying it, but taking off things and then putting it back on. It always gets a little sketchy, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, oh, this stream is greater than the AMD stream. Why, thank you. We just need as many people as they got on there. My goodness. One day, one day, right? Oh, so if you notice the headphones, these are Thermaltake headphones. Uh, my problem with headphones is my head's too damn big. <laughs> so it's so huge that we just need to, I don't know. Uh, did AMD contact you for juicy overclock? Uh, no, AMD has not. I don't know if AMD knows my number, but if you guys see any feeds or anything where AMD's on there, just let them know to come over here and come hang out with us because we're the cool kids, right? We're the cool kid groups. Oh, do I use MATLAB? No, don't think so. How much time we got here? We got about 10 minutes till the stream starts. I'm going to go back to my pretty face. 
Oh, that's just desktop only. What are we going to do here? Uh, we just come back to me. So I'm going to enjoy my Red Bull for a little bit, hang out with you fine folks. We're up to about 400 concurrent users. Let's get them likes up, man. The more likes we get, the better we show up in uh, all the YouTube stuff. So let's get that going. Yeah, they make cat phones. Thermaltake makes a bunch of different stuff. So I think these are Thermaltake ones. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of the times I can't, they don't fit on my head. Like I said, too damn big, right? Oh, I got some, what else do I got? So I think what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to take this one card. So remember, I got an extra card. So I ended up coming up on that EVGA list. So if you want to get a card, go on to the EVGA list and sign up because that's how I ended up buying this. So uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up putting this on eBay. I'm going to sign it. Uh, if you guys want me to power mod it, not sure yet. I was thinking about whoever buys it and they can decide if they want me to mod it or not. Uh, I was thinking about just putting on... Uh, What's it called? Uh, doing the power mod. I got a bunch of little resistors. or uh, Yeah, what are they called? I can't remember the name of them. Eh. Oh, I need more Red Bull and water. Red Bull? Well, we got water and Red Bull. Two food groups, right? <laughs> I have to pay to call you a slacker now. Yes, you do, Jonathan. What's up, buddy? Thanks for your 75 bucks. Yes, you definitely have to pay for to, to call B Slacker. Jonathan's a good dude. I haven't seen you in a while. I miss you, man. I haven't been to Taiwan. Uh, I'm usually over there. My head's so big, I just use speakers. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, so the reason why I'm using headphones is because if once I start playing everything on there, it's basically, um, for me to hear it, I if I play it, it kind of gets picked up in my microphone and kind of sounds like crap. So I kind I want you guys to have the nicest experience as if you're watching that stream here. So uh, I do it for you guys. It's all about you guys. So yes, the shunt mod. That's what it was. I don't know why I couldn't think of shunt. Uh, technically, truthfully, I don't wake up until like noon. Like mentally wise, I feel like when I'm coming up, we, we haven't hit noon yet. So whatever I say doesn't necessarily count. Uh, I, I don't know. That, that's just how it is. All I think is that in those resistors held up like a bag of drugs saying I got the goods. I got the goods! Yeah, buddy. I, that's kind of funny you say that. I feel like it was a bad, uh, bad movie. Echo, echo, echo. Feedback loop. How's tater cart? Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. So guess what I'm having for lunch today? Tater tots. And you know, I wanted to have them on stream and I completely forgot. Yeah, these are the TT Sports Kronos. Oh, I see now I'm sad because guess what? I don't have my tater tots. I needed some tater tots. Damn it. What am I going to do? I only got like seven minutes. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, still earlier than me. I never wake up fully. Oh, I'm telling you, like noon. I, 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 wanna, I had a Red Bull already earlier this morning around nine, but I feel like I need another one. I, I saved it a little bit for you guys. Uh, we wanted to have some fun. But just need that Red Bull to kick in. Because I'm, I'm dying here. Mm. We got about 500 concurrent viewers. Let's get them li likes up there, slackers. We're at 499. Come on, invite your friends. Invite everybody. It's time to see what AMD comes out with. Let's see if they can beat the 3090. Ooh. You know what I was thinking? So, one of the things that with NVIDIA is basically they're killing SLI, right? So... Wouldn't it be cool to see AMD come out with Crossfire for like four cards and then you could beat a two setup on NVIDIA? I don't know. That's the type of stuff that I think of. Skyrick Nexos, 25 bucks. Thanks, Broski. Found your child through collab or found your channel through collabs with Steve. Great channel. Like, comment, and sub to put him good favor with the algorithm gods. Thanks, Broski. Yes, let's get us in the algorithm. Tots and Red Bull. That's overclocking fuel. Isn't that the truth? What do we got here? We got six minutes and counting. 500 watchers. Nice. We just jumped up a bunch. Oh, come on. Let's get over 300 likes. We're at 296. Come on, slackers. Ooh, my Red Bull is Johnny Walker Red. I used to love Johnny Walker when I used to drink, but I don't drink anymore. I'll live vicariously through you. Uh, 3090 maybe, but not hope. So... Anybody, what's what's their thoughts on what AMD is going to come out with? Do you think it's going to be something relevant to 3090? Do you think it's just going to be 3080 level? Or is it going to barely touch 3070 level? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm also curious, too, to see if NVIDIA comes out with... 
um, I don't know, driver update? Because this is usually the, around the time when AMD puts up something and then all of a sudden NVIDIA releases a driver and then all of a sudden we get a bunch of performance. Magically. And that's usually when records fall too. So that's why I usually kept uh, kept track of uh, when drivers come out because a driver update can dramatically change the, the scoreboard. So that's something I'm interested to see. So let's I'll be refreshing on N NVIDIA's site to see when the new driver is. Oh, wow. We jumped from 300 to 351 likes so quick. I like it. You guys rock. Come on, we need to do these more often. I feel like I'm going to start doing these for a bunch of different events, like any of the iPhone stuff. Um, I, I'm I, You wouldn't think it, but I'm actually an Apple iPhone guy. Um, uh, even Galaxy phones I do, like, I don't know. I, I don't hate on technology, really. Certain technology. When there's no competition, that's when I hate. It will be a tandem bike they will announce. Yeah, I know that AMD bike. Did you see that on GN, man? That's crazy. You know that bike would not be able to handle this, you know? <laughs> All right, so how many minutes we got? We got about, what, four minutes, three minutes, premieres? Maybe we should kick up off that screen. I know you guys uh, will miss my pretty face. Well, we see a little mini pretty face. <laughs> Come on, boys, smash them likes. We're at 388. We can hit 400 real quick. Hmm. I want to make sure we don't miss anything from the AMD side, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up our views. So you see I have it on a desktop. What I'm going to do is put it up on full screen. So we're watching AMD's YouTube right now. So you guys are not going to have to go over. I'm out for Apple streams. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just trying to talk about technology. That's just how it works, bro. Um, yeah, the more streams, the better. And I figured during the day, these ones are easier for me to do for setup and stuff like that. So plus we can just eat, eat tater tots together, if you know what I'm saying. So, wow, they got 100,000 people rolling on the AMD stream. There's a lot of excitement going on here. Joseph Geisner, two bucks. Where's the shirt? Oh, I didn't today. Trust me. I'm missing tater tots today. I'm not, I'm not used to this. Shit. As, as we get more mature and we keep going, the more and more I'll get some stuff going on. But thanks for the support, broski. For the $2. All right. Just stop it. It's at 420. No. <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, so we got about two minutes now. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I almost want to, wondering, the one thing, what, so when we start this stream, what I want you guys to do is to just kind of pay attention. I'm, I was going to do music, but I, I'd rather just keep the stream as what's going on from uh, AMD directly. But let me know how audio is. It might be a little bit loud. I'm, I'm still not sure how it is right now, so... But I, I think it should be pretty good. I tested a bunch uh, uh, yesterday. So the headphones I'm using, Thermaltakes, um, the Kronos, I think they were. Uh, they're a little small for my head. I, I don't really get many headphones that probably fit my big head. So, all right, we got about 60 seconds. Are you guys excited? I am so excited. DeBauer and Bearded Hardware. I should talk to Roman. I haven't talked to him in a bit. It, it, it kind of sucks not seeing the people we normally usually see throughout the year with this whole uh pandemic going on a lot of the meetups that we usually do is kind of kind of canceled this year so here's to 2021 i'm hoping for uh that comes back because i'd be pretty excited yeah the audio is going through my mic not actually through the headphones so you guys know um i wanted to test it for this this stream we i'm just gonna kick off and let's see what this does I think I feel like it's been saying 60 seconds for like two minutes now. Premiere will begin. Sh see, it looks like AMD slacking already. Let's see. Let's see. It says I have the AMD main presentation on my TV, so I can mute you on my computer as needed. You're not supposed to mute me. <laughs> it's all good, AJC. But come on, man. So yes. Yeah, so AMD slacking right now. Just sold my 9900K 3080 PC. Too slow, loud, waiting for 3080 Ti. Yeah, anybody hear about the 3080 Ti? I know people are asking me about it. I don't even know what's going on with the 3080 Ti. We don't even know if there's going to be a 3080 Ti. I think right now it's kind of... It's possible, but I, I feel like there's a GPU shortage. I mean, if there wasn't a GPU shortage, we would have 3080s and 3090s everywhere, right? 
But the demand for 3090s and 3080s is absolutely ridiculous. What is going on here? We're still waiting. So, I don't know. Whenever AMD gets their stuff to see... This is why my streams, it's pretty difficult to hold like a, an announcement. So we'll give them a couple minutes. It's cool. We got some time. Oh, oh, here we go. Two minutes. All right. So how does this sound, guys? Loud as hell of me. Yeah, it seems to be live. How's the audio for you guys? That's what I'm most important, most important to me. It's refreshed, guys. It's loud, so let's turn it down a little bit. How's that, guys? Joe always late to his news. Hey, I'm not late. I'm all about it. I turned down the volume a little bit. So, as long as you can hear me with the volume. So, let, let, let's see. It sounds good. Then on Linux and my stuff is half muted. <laughs> Alright, I turned it down a little bit. Yeah, we got like a 30 second delay, so I gotta wait about 30 seconds to go, so. Hopefully it sounds like this. I think it sounds really good right now. So I, I just wanna make sure that it sounds good for you guys and for me, so. Dun, dun, dun. Gandalf can never be late. Too low now? Which one is it? <sighs> All right, so here we go, guys. Enjoy. I think. Ever dip your beard in L and two? Many times. Man, I'm excited. I, I'm hoping for some like video killing here. Don't, don't. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a little bit delayed. So that's just how it is. Man, that cooler is sexy. Who, who likes the uh, cooler? I don't know. I, I feel like the, the way they did this cooler is way, way nicer. Let me try this. How's that? Is that a little bit better? No, audio is perfect. Okay. Well, I made it pretty easy, so we'll do that for now. All right, we got 700 viewers on here, 711. That's actually when my son was supposed to be born, so love that number. Let's see if we can get up to 500 likes. Oh, I'm so, dude. You cannot tell me that is not the nicest cooler that is out by far for a reference car. That thing is awesome. But I just, does the performance go up with it? I don't know, let's see, I, let's see. Here's Lisa. Welcome everyone. Thank you all for joining us today for this second half of our next gen PC platform launch. I loved seeing all of your excitement when we introduced the Ryzen 5000 series a few weeks ago. It was actually captions. the most watched launch video in AMD history. And I must say, we're very proud of what Zen 3 brings to gamers. But today is all about Big Navi. I'm really excited to show you the new RDNA 2 architecture and our full stack excited. of Radeon RX 6000 series products. As you know, we brought the first generation of RDNA architecture to market in 2019 with the Radeon RX 5700 XT. And with the combined launch of the 5700 XT and the Ryzen 3000 series, AMD became the first company to introduce a high-performance CPU and GPU together. And we delivered a winning combination of computing and gaming performance, including CPU and GPU of the year in 2019 from PC Gamer. Now, 2020 is really the year of the gamer. I know many of you can't wait to get your hands on the next-gen consoles. 
whether it's the Microsoft Xbox Series X and Series S a or the Sony PlayStation 5, we are so proud that AMD is enabling these incredible gaming experiences, which is why we like to say that AMD is where gaming begins. Now, earlier this month, I showed you our new AMD Ryzen 5000 series, the world's best gaming processor. Our next-gen Ryzen processor combines Dude, the absolute 5000 series looks leadership impressive. in single-threaded performance, gaming, and creative workloads. It's the first time I'm really excited about AMD. Per watt. And for millions of you, it's a drop-in upgrade to your existing AM4 motherboard. Now, as successful as we've been with Ryzen, many of you have asked us to compete at the highest end of gaming GPUs as well. And today, we're ready to show you exactly what we've been working on. Uh -oh, I'm so here we excited go. to show you the Radeon RX 6000 series. It's absolutely the most powerful gaming GPU we've ever built. I think you'll be pretty pleased with what you see. I often talk about the fact that we're on a journey, and we are on a journey. Just like with our Zen CPU architecture, we're on a multi-year journey in GPUs with our RDNA architecture. We designed RDNA specifically for gaming. 50%. And our first-gen RDNA products delivered 50% better performance per watt over our GCN architecture. We wanted to take another big step with RDNA 2 and deliver another 50% generational improvement in perf per watt. 50%. And with RDNA 2, we also set the very ambitious goal to deliver leadership gaming performance. And now like I'm very happy goal. to show you for the first time Big Navi. This is the chip at the heart of our high-end Radeon RX 6000 series. 26.8 billion transistors built with leading edge seven nanometer process technology. Big Navi is our first product powered by RDNA 2. No we HBM. We have made incredible progress on the architectural front. Where is it? And now let me turn it over to AMD fellow Laura Smith to give you more details on the architecture. Here we go. Thank you, Lisa. It Our is a graphics big guy. architecture roadmap has a clear goal, gaming leadership across the ecosystem. The GCN was a great architecture, but we knew we needed to rethink graphics and build the best engine for the future. We wanted That's to build sure. a set of technologies that game developers could use across all platforms. The first major step was RDNA, introduced last year. RDNA was a new architecture and used a seven nanometer process node, which helped us with the large initial gains. We committed to you that our engineers had plans in the works for RDNA Where's the kitchen, 2, right? and we would be back quickly with another significant improvement. By combining our expertise in CPU design, deep gaming history, and broad ecosystem partnerships, RDNA 2 is built to be the gaming architecture for all gamers across console, PC, and beyond. We had some very ambitious goals with RDNA 2 significantly higher performance, 50% improvement in performance per watt, and new wow. hardware features. Individually, each of these goals is challenging. When combined, they become extremely difficult because as you push performance, a natural side effect is more power. New features also mean more computation, further challenging both speed and power metrics. For RDNA 2, we made significant gains in all these areas. The compute unit compute is, is the crazy. core of the architecture. We advanced all aspects of the compute unit design, leveraging techniques first developed in CPUs. We deployed pervasive fine-grained clock gating, reimagined the pipeline to aggressively maximize performance while minimizing data movement. In combination, these elements made the compute units 30% more energy efficient, allowing them to be pushed faster. Gaming at 4K requires more data to be brought into the chip. The amount of data more than doubles as we move from 1440p to 4K. The more efficient the memory subsystem is, the higher fidelity the images are, and the more you can push the frame rates. We took a new approach to solving this technical challenge for gaming and deployed a graphics-optimized, high-density, high-speed cache based on the Zen L3 cache. We call this the infinity cache. The infinity cache the minimizes DRAM bottlenecks, latencies, and power consumption. Our specialized infinity cache combined with a 256-bit <laughs> G6 interface delivers more than twice the effective bandwidth of a traditional 384-bit G6 solution cache and a lower king. power consumption. Even High in CPU, that's what they're doing to get more performance. Is important for gaming performance. 
RDNA 2 is built with custom libraries and high-speed so design flows, maximizing frequency in 7 nanometer. With RDNA 2, our silicon design and architectural improvements, we are able to deliver 30% faster frequencies in the same 7 nanometer process node. Pulling all this together, the RDNA2 architecture talk, so. beats our aggressive performance per watt goal. It's got to be hard doing it, though. You got to give cut them some select. With RDNA2, we also focus on bringing new hardware features into the architecture. We partner closely with Microsoft on DirectX 12 ultimate features, including DirectX ray tracing, variable rate shading, mesh shaders, and sampler feedback. RDNA 2 will also support Microsoft Direct Storage API. We're excited about this new API that will enhance the, direct the storage gaming thing experience is kind of by significantly not sure how reducing I feel about game that. asset load times from large SSDs. We compared the performance of RDNA 2 to our prior generation. And when we put it all together, on average, RDNA 2 delivers double the performance and with great power efficiency. We are Double so proud of what we've accomplished with RDNA 2, and we are not stopping. The team is executing to plan, RDNA 2 is here, and the RDNA 3 team is well into execution. Let me welcome wow. Scott Herkelman to show RDNA 2 in our new RX 6000 series products. That means 2021 is going to be interesting. James said she's not a marketing person, she's an engineering fellow. She did a okay job. It's got to be tough to be up on this big screen. In, and so. welcome to our Radeon RX 6000 series product reveal. I really love the cool As a hardcore League design. of Legends and Borderlands 3 player and playing these games on our RX 6000 series over the past few weeks, I'm so excited and proud to be here with you today. Allow me to introduce you to our brand new AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics card. The 6800 XT clock? is purposefully designed to play all of your favorite AAA wow. games at 4K and below resolutions and at the highest quality settings available. It comes with 72 compute units and runs with a game clock of over 2 gigahertz. This card features a 2.25 gigahertz boost clock that pushes Man. some of the highest frequencies we've ever achieved. All thanks to the incredible work done by our engineering team on the RDNA2 architecture. The 6800 XT will also feature 128 megabytes of infinity it's a good cache looking card, that is power efficient sure. while driving the bandwidth needed for high resolution gaming. Paired with 16 gigabytes of blazing fast GDDR6 memory, you'll be ready for the most demanding high resolution games that you wanna play. And we've delivered all of this incredible performance with a total board power of just 300 watts. As you can see, the 6800 XT not only delivers on 4K 60 frames per second, but in most cases, it overperforms. We've been maxing out all the settings in games like Battlefield 5, Borderlands 3, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and the performance has just been awesome to experience. Let's take a look That's at how crazy. the 6800 XT competes head to head against the latest offering from the competition. Here, we compare or their best API scores to our best API scores. 30, the best 80. versus the best. And as you can see, the 6800 XT trades blows and has some significant wins across a variety of titles. And it does all of this so it's at close less to power a 30, consumption 80. than the competition. For the 1440p gamers out there, we have some great results for you too. Over the last several years, more and more gamers have adopted 1440p monitors as their display of choice. Here are the same games we showed you before, running the same best versus best API scenario at 1440p resolution. <laughs> I personally love seeing so many games running at over 100 frames per second with all of the settings maxed out. This is just an incredible amount of performance. All in all, the 6800 XT is a fantastic choice for enthusiast gamers. We even have more performance we are delivering with two like the red very one cool features. It looks pretty damn cool. The first is a one-click overclocking button we built into our Radeon software package that we call nah. Rage Mode. Now, Rage Mode automatically takes advantage of the overclocking headroom built into your GPU to give you every bit of performance it has to offer. And the second is made possible because of the fact that only AMD can deliver both high-performance processors and high-performance GPUs. We call this new feature AMD Smart Access Memory. 
AMD Smart Access Memory unlocks the hmm. greater amount of high-speed memory from the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards to the AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors, and it delivers additional levels that? of performance in games. Simply pair these components with our 500 series chipset motherboards, enable the setting in the BIOS, and the performance uplift becomes automatic. When you combine AMD Smart Access Memory oh, with the one-click overclocking of Rage Mode, you'll get a boost in performance in many of the games you it's love. It's a little weird. We're seeing up to a 13% performance increase, and that's before game developers begin to optimize for this new capability. I wonder if you overclock that CPU know a, lot a little of you bit, if that gains a little bit more too. Frames per second performance, just like bearded us. mode is what I. However, like. we can also improve the game experience by reducing latency. The differences of milliseconds of latency in a competitive game can be the difference between a major win and a major loss. Last year, we pushed the industry to recognize there was a better way to provide competitive gamers with less latency from mouse click to the screen, giving competitive gamers who own the RX 5000 series a serious leg up on their competition. Today, we are pushing the boundaries again and further reducing latency in competitive games for even better results. Hmm. Combining the latest implementation of Radeon Anti-Lag with the FreeSync monitor can reduce lag in your DX9 and in your DX9. Anybody having games. a FreeSync monitor now? In Fortnite, for I don't example, personally have one. Gamers can realize up to eight milliseconds of latency reduction by simply enabling this feature in Radeon software. More recently, we introduced Radeon Boost, a unique feature that's a step beyond anti-lag. For select games, Radeon Boost offers dynamic resolution in response to your mouse or controller inputs, leading to higher frame rates and, as a result, quicker responses to your input. Both Radeon Anti-Lag and Radeon Boost can be enabled via the Radeon software that comes with your graphics cards, and neither of them require a proprietary API oh, no, I don't know how or a game this. integration to provide latency-reducing benefits. As you can see, the combination One of these OC's technologies can worked, contribute up opinion. to 37% latency reduction in highly competitive games like Fortnite running at 4K. Now, performance is king, but let's talk for a minute about how we are improving the visual I don't know experience how I feel about as well. That. We'll With full hardware that. support for DX12 Ultimate, the Radeon RX 6000 series is ready to enable ray tracing and variable rate shading in upcoming titles. So now we're We've getting ray tracing. We've also expanded our library of Fidelity FX features to work hand in hand with ray tracing, compute, and shader effects to enable the higher level of visual fidelity while ensuring high frame rates. For DX12 <laughs> Ultimate, we've added an optimized denoiser for ray tracing effects and a variable rate shading algorithm that can adapt image quality based upon luminance and motion. We've also hmm. added a suite of compute-based effects to be used alongside ray tracing, like optimized screen space reflections and an optimized ambient occlusion. We're always looking to help developers with new initiatives and are already working on a super resolution feature to give gamers an option for more performance when using ray tracing. As of today, our AMD Fidelity FX supported games list has grown to 35 titles using a variety of our features. So let's take a look at some of these new features in an upcoming game with never before seen footage from Counterplay Studios and their fantastic game, Godfall. Godfall is a brand new third person perspective, next generation looter slasher that challenges gamers to engage in high impact melee combat. Seems like I need As to play more games. As they hunt for loot, <laughs> equip legendary armor, and defeat vicious enemies. Leveraging the latest DirectX 12 Ultimate API, Godfall features DirectX ray tracing, variable rate shading, and supports Fidelity FX casts to deliver incredible levels of stunning fidelity. I personally can't wait to play this game, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, let's hear from a few more of our game developer partners about the work they've done with us on <laughs> RDNA 2, and purchase. what you can expect in their games coming soon. Ooh, Far Cry 6, huh? I'm here to talk about Far, Far Cry 6 and some of the new technologies we've been collaborating with AMD on to make our game the most immersive and beautiful Far Cry ever. Ooh, I'm excited. We've been working together to take full advantage of the new Radeon RX 6000 series and our DNA 2 architecture for best possible experience. Man, I love the look of that. We've been very impressed by AMD's latest tech and joined forces to bring Fidelity FX CAS, DXR ray tracing, and variable ray shading to Far Cry hey, 6. Hey, I could play 
And poor Ellen too, too. Ooh, VR Dirt 5 to, too. To use compute shader. I love that game. To generate control texture, which analyzes the I'm limits in the and gives us control at an 8x8 tile level as to what We're gonna have to get something on Twitch where we uh, play this a bunch of video games. This enables us to render much more quickly, but keep the same quality level. <laughs> a game called 3D Mark for sure. Oh, come on, how can I like Far Cry? We're excited to team up with great partners like AMD to bring some new features to World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is built on a custom engine using the DirectX 12 Ultimate API. Always have Another to have great wow. feature on the RX 6000 is DXR ray tracing. Here you can see ray tracing evident and how the shadows are interacting with your character. What you're seeing involves incredibly complex computations on the RX 6000. This is a level of realism that hasn't been possible until recently. What is this rift breaker? Have you guys heard the of that RDNA one? I don't think I've heard of it. The architecture and the Radeon 6000 series allowed us to introduce some of the latest DirectX 12 Ultimate technologies into our engine. Real-time ray traced oh, wow. shadows allow us to introduce additional shadow casting lights into the scene that provide much more uh, immersion and detail into the world. <laughs> Rip and tear. Over the next few weeks, developers of these incredible games will show never before seen gameplay with gorgeous graphics that use a combination of ray tracing and fidelity effects running on the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards. Be sure to check out amd.com starting tomorrow to see more. I'm happy to announce that the Radeon right RX 6800 XT Weird. will be available on November 18th, 18. starting at $649. Ooh. But we are not done yet. Today, we are far also out, but... announcing the Radeon RX 6800 with 60 compute units, a 1.815 gigahertz game clock, with a boost clock of over 2.1 gigahertz. Oh, we're gonna it will feature the same 128 megabytes juice. of infinity cache and be available with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory with a board power of just 250 watts. The Radeon RX 6800 is a fantastic entry into 4K gaming, delivering more performance than the 2080 Ti, which was launched at $999. The 6800 delivers over 60 frames per second in all of these games, giving you the confidence you need to step into the 4K gaming experience. That same great performance mm. extends to 1440p resolution, where the RX 6800 tears through the latest games delivering about 18% more performance than the 2080 Ti on average. The Radeon RX 6800 will be available to gamers starting at a price of $579 on November 18th. Now, let's bring back Lisa to wrap things up. You couldn't have just put that with the 3080? I don't know, it seems strange to me. I do love the look of their cooler though. I think I would just buy it just based Thanks, upon Scott the cooler. And Laura. The AMD Radeon 6800 XT and 6800 deliver simply incredible 4K and 1440p gaming experiences. This is the power of RDNA 2. And once we add the smart access memory technology, gamers can even get higher frames per second when pairing Radeon 6000 GPUs with Ryzen 5000 series. Now I saw online that some of you I'm were wondering about which big Navi product mix. we previewed during our Ryzen 5000 launch earlier this month. For the record, that was the 6800 XT. But you know, we always save the best for last and I always uh -oh. get the most fun jobs. So today, uh -oh. that means I have one more GPU to show you. We didn't stop what? with the Radeon RX 6800 XT. We what? knew that the RDNA 2 architecture could give gamers even more. I'm so excited to share with you for the very first time the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Whoa, now, I did not see that coming. Gorgeous? And you'll see Whoa. that it's actually relatively compact for all the performance that it delivers. It's actually the same size as our 6800 XT card. Our wow. top of the stack Radeon GPU is built for the ultimate in 4K gaming performance. The 6900 XT combines 80 compute units with a 2.25 gigahertz boost clock. I'm a little in shock right now. Are you guys in shock? At the I wasn't settings. expecting this. With 16 gigabytes of graphics memory, the 6900 XT is ready for the most demanding next-gen games. And with the power efficiency of RDNA 2, we've been able to deliver all of this with a total board power of 300 watts. Now, what? Laura showed you that we achieved a 54% generational improvement in perf per watt with the 6800 so XT. With the 6900 XT, we improved things even more. 
hitting 65% more performance what? per watt over first gen RDNA. I'm so on, proud get to it. of our engineers <laughs> who worked incredibly hard to optimize every aspect of RDNA 2 wow. to achieve this performance. Now let's see how all of this translates to gaming performance. Running at 4K with the highest settings, the 6900 XT looks absolutely fantastic. I'm blown fantastic. away by this. It's extremely competitive across the board, consistently delivering high frame rates in your favorite games. Just take a look at the performance we see against the competition in Battlefield 5, Call of Duty. Wow, and they're comparing to 3090. All of this is at lower power with a smaller card form factor. Now, let's talk about price and availability. The AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT will For be available grand, they're going on December 8th, starting at $999. Wow. You asked for AMD to bring the highest graphics performance to the gaming market, and we're doing just that. Wow. I hope you now feel that with the Ryzen 5000 series and the Radeon like 6000 series, AMD is your best choice for your next generation PC gaming platform. Whether you want a game with ultimate performance in AAA titles at 4K resolution, or you're an esports fan who needs incredibly high frame rates and responsiveness, across the board for every gamer at every price, AMD has the CPU and GPU combination for you. So I hope you're as excited as we are. We can't wow. wait to get these products in your hands. So look for the Ryzen 5000 series starting November 5th, the Radeon RX 6800 series starting November 18th, and the Radeon RX 6900 XT starting December 8th. To wrap up here, this has been quite a journey for us. And I'm incredibly proud of our CPU and GPU teams who have worked years wow. for this moment. AMD is delivering the best to the industry. We want to thank all of you for your passion and enthusiasm and for always pushing us to be the best. Wow. I must say I did not see that coming at all. Wow. All right, I'm going to have to... Uh... Take a second there. That's uh, crazy. I was not expecting it. Well, let me just let it finish and see if there's anything else in there. Wow. Wow, I cannot believe that just happened. I'm like pretty much speechless at this point. Like, I cannot, I mean, what do you guys think? I, I, to be honest, I thought that was it. After the 3800 XT, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, hey, wait a second. I feel like I was, like, sideswiped there. Like, what, what, what was going on? We're talking, like, massive. They're, they just actually competed with the 3090. I've, they haven't done this in years. I think the last thing that was competitive was the 290X. I'm just speeches at this point like i know they showed it pretty quick but it was pretty much all on par with uh, with the 3090 i'm i'm now here's the thing that we're gonna see so remember what i always talk i'm always talking about i'm always talking about basically like nvidia so you're gonna see a driver update i almost guarantee that's gonna bump up performance so otherwise the 3090 at almost 2k for depending on what model you have is gonna drop in price so like I I'm I don't know I'm what do you guys think I'm I'm literally like flabbergasted like at this point I I cannot believe it I thought this was gonna be like the typical AMD where you're already just doing you know okay we're gonna compete with 3080 it's gonna be kind of like 3080 and it, yeah that's usually what they do but throwing that 39 man Lisa Sue you you kind of ah. Oh. You took, you're, man, you're after my heart, aren't you? I can't, I can't believe this is happening. So this is great. This is what the, the community needs. This is what pretty much what we need as consumers, man. When NVIDIA has competition, it generates innovation. It causes prices to come down. It means we get all the good stuff. Wow. I, I'm December 8th. I wonder how, so I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm just so, uh, I'm almost speechless at this point of, I can't believe they actually did it. <laughs> I've heard I've, I've heard rumors that basically AMD was doing a lot of stuff now um, for like compute performance. Like so, if you're into mining stuff like that, I've heard that they uh, the new cards were 
or the rumors were basically that they're heavy hitters, their their performance. But a lot of the times, even if they're mining cards, like the 580 was a good mining card, 480, but it really wasn't comparative to the efficiency and everything of the NVIDIA cards. So, like, well, I'm, I'm literally blown away by it. I think that's awesome. We finally have some competition in the GPU market. And if you've heard me talk a lot of the times, I've, I've kind of been stagnant over the past couple of years because there's no GPU innovation. I mean, 3080 and 3090 were awesome, but to see AMD jump in that punch, that means we're going we're gonna to get a war this year. Oh, I'm excited. That means we get to break out the Viking gear and uh, go crazy, I think. So, now, well, so there's a couple things that I thought was interesting with this is um, the one thing they talked about was the one-click OC where it looks like they're sharing data between the GPU and the CPU. What that means for benchmarks that you might see an increase just in the benchmarks themselves. So, um, for instance, like uh, 3D Mark and stuff like that. I'm curious how if you use an AMD system, uh, AMD CPU with an AMD GPU, that might give you an edge over an NVIDIA chip because obviously NVIDIA would be on Intel and NVIDIA doesn't make um, a normal CPU or anything like that. So. Wow, I'm just, uh, to be honest, I'm just blown away dramatically. Like, I was not expecting to see AMD come back on the GPU side. The CPU side it was, has been awesome. I'm finally excited on the CPU side, but the GPU side is just absolutely crazy at this point. I'm just speechless when it comes down to it, so. But yeah, um, guys, like and subscribe if you guys want to see more. We're going to be doing lots of stuff. I'm, I'm already in modding 3090s, so... I'm curious to see, we'll end up getting an AMD card, uh, even if I have to buy it myself and we'll tear it apart and mod it and do a bunch of different stuff, because that's what I do. You've seen it with the 3090 already. Uh, if you haven't, just check out my uh, my other streams and uh, see how it is, but I'm, I don't know. I, I think I got to sell my 3090 real quick, I guess, because I got three of them. So, But we're going to end up putting one that's going to be signed to help support the channel. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a video on that, and uh, when I'm... When it's ready, I'll let you guys know. So make sure you like and subscribe. So I know it's hard to get 3090s right now. I know EVGA is coming up with their ordering system. So really sign up for that if you want to get a 3090 or a 3080.